Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3. My name is Saiken and today we are continuing the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty Supreme Jerk. So far we are in episode number 14 to death uh, uh, to, uh, to account for. I am happy we are go getting better at the game and I'm getting a hang of it. So let's explore the rest of the uh, um, Payaso Clowns. Uh, some of which uh, seem to be here, I think. It's a great opportunity. Oh, wow. That's a lot of clowns. Okay, let's... Get people into position. Marshal Quan. Let's get you over here. Oh no, I wanted to start by myself. Well, at least we can use the decoy. That should be good enough for now. Hit this guy. Nice little bolt in his face, which is going to implode very soon. And we're just going to take those AP over. Ramos with 2 AP, not really much that he can do. We're just going to take that over as well. We got a decoy. And we need to deal with all of those pigs. Decoy, ultra helpful. I wonder, can we repair that? Ah, uh, we don't have the uh, ranged repair. Nope. But what we do have with Marshall Quan is... Wait, wait, before we do anything central here. Rallies. Thank you. And then I would love what is this here? Risky shot? No, we're not going to, to do that yet. I would like to shoot both of you. Great hit. And we're just focusing on this guy first. I think we're not going to waste more bullets, uh, more bolts. We're instead just hitting him very, very well. Fantastic. Good. That's one down. Ramos is in a good state. Can we Yeah, we can. We can move all the way to here. Lucio's ready. Hit this guy. Hit the flame tank. 
Almost. Wanted it to explode, but it didn't work out. Mark the pick. It's over. Success. Hit the pick. Also good, but not a kill yet. And Lucia goes and takes some cover here. Good. Hmm. Listen, I think what we could do is we could uh, put a grenade down. Sure. That just means we're overall less likely to get hit. And Central waits for next turn. Could have also uh, insulted one of these guys. Very nice hit. Keep it going, Hogbite. The enemy is poisoned, uh, and I'm just going to hit. That's my man. Completely murders the enemy. Taking over some AP into the next round. Uh, same for Murphy. Okay, four for a situation where we got ambushed it's not too bad the picks here are an issue we don't want uh, them to blow up so we're going to start with them As and when Hawkbite crits, there is no question. Melee is great. But these moments are sometimes a little bit far and few between. I wish it would be a tiny bit more consistent, you know? Stun him. Just take a round away from him completely. And we're then healing ourselves. Very good. Ramos moves up. Murphy could kill him. Nah, so close. Fabulous. Which brings us to Quan, who is starting to take this guy apart. Reloads and we're almost there. Yeah, those decoys are great. Uh, the guy is potentially a bit too armored. We still need great uh, or better ways of getting rid of the armor.
Good, let's heal our wolf. So we got Major Tom and uh, the rest. We're good. A little bit of healing kit and the rest of the lines in order to get into into their hideout. Some more medical darts. And Major Tomcat as well as the others have taken damage. I don't like that. And some of us were downed. I can see at least three different wounds. Which tells me we might want to go upstairs and just heal. Good, just making sure no one dies. Okay, a bit of money. That's good. What else? A level 13 max 17 Uzi. That's what I'm talking about. Converts all of the damage to energy damage. Ooh, that's nice. Then a quick slot item, level 10 rocket launcher, more rockets, and an expanded magazine. Okay, cool. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Magazine's size, uh, size and critical uh, chance. You know, might as well modify that level 13 submachine gun because it's likely the best that we're going to find for a while. Which gives Central some agency to, to just kill enemies and deal enough damage. Which isn't too bad because if he kills enemies then the leadership ability uh, triggers as far as I do understand that. All right, Frankie, we're not uh, done yet. Good, let's get that one going. I'll fast forward for you guys. All right, back. So we got ourselves healed. We went all the way back here and I did that little computer game on top of which we got ourselves a new recruit for the HQ. The chef cook is with us. Now, let's enter here. I already have a bad feeling. <laughs> 1,300 hit points. Not good. I said I do have a bad feeling and it's even worse than expected. Murphy goes there. Ramos sort of crouches uh, there. Central positions himself over here. Juan moves there. Lucia moves uh, there. 
And before we're getting detected, let's, for starters, drink. Um, I would like something that gives us armor. Love that. We're taking a smoke here. We're taking a smoke there. We're definitely taking a smoke here. Another smoke and yet another smoke. Which brings us to the question of how do we want to start this? I would start, uh, I would say we're starting it off by using our sniper. Do we have an oil tank? No, we don't. But we can position ourselves here. And now we have started it off. Proper first round. Central. Starts by rallying everyone. Okay. Good. Decent, I would say. We can demoralize. Oh, that's an AoE. Ooh. Oh, not bad. Good. Oh, that's just less damage and so on, which isn't bad. Uh, we need to have a great defense position here, so smoke grenade it is. Central got that for free. Dang it. Alright, in the meantime, I want a decoy. How about we place them here? And I would love for a machine gun, which we could put over here. But moves to here. Very good. Uh, we got two AP to get that pick. Nice. A nice little hit. And I still think I like the idea of Hogbite being here and taking. The preparedness over. I think we're just going to stick on this side here. Lucia moves on. Hold. Oh, oh, I forgot that hot dog here. Oh, not good. Great shot, fantastic to be precise. And what's we added? Nice little hit on the hot dog. Quan hits and takes over his actions. Murphy. High chance to kill this pig. And listen, I think Ramos is best served by just dealing as much damage as possible. 
And this here looks an awful lot like as much damage as possible. Wow, great hit. Fantastic. Just out of curiosity, could we do that without hitting Central or Major Tom? No, we could not. Which leaves the only real conclusion. The pig needs to die with a sniper rifle. Almost got it, almost. We had a very strong first round. Now it's time to clean up this mess here. Just reduce the number of people. Lucia moves here. I think we can finish her. That's one down. Fabulous. And this could be another kill. Nope. Unfortunately not, but we do have a shrink grenade and that might not be the worst idea. It's a question of whom to shrink, right? Mm, I'll wait with it. Could take over the robot, but that would need to be done by Quan, who moves forward. Cool. That worked just like a charm. One got another kill. Fantastic, that's good. Murphy takes this guy out. And is marking the boss. Takes the remaining AP over. <clears throat> Central. Could move up. I guess not the worst idea. Unloads with a nice spray and pray. That's good. We do have enough to shoot twice. Shoot uh, uh, fire number one. Hot dog might uh, maybe dies. 
Just barely not. Number two, we're changing to cheaper ammunition because suppression always takes so much ammunition. But we'll mean that they are slower. Pig dies, everybody else gets an aim penalty. Exactly what I wanted to get out of it. Rest on next turn. Good, this guy is easier to hit. Here we go. Oh yeah. Bonus attack. For a 70% chance, <clears throat> 2 out of 4 is not necessarily average. Good, taking over ability points, uh, act points to the next round. Oh no, they're going for our doggo. I don't like it. I don't like that either. There is a lot of potential that they are just going to use flamethrowers. Ramos got downed by that bastard here. Gotta take this heavy, uh, heavy fire guy out. In the meantime, Ramos, please get back up. Nice. Damage onto the head. Triple hit. I like it. Reload the crossbow. And hit the pick. Cool. Get another pick. It should be somewhere else. Then I could just unload. I could have moved him to here. My bad. Definitely take out uh, these guys. Stun both of them. Or three actually. It's interested, uh, interesting, right? Although they are stunned, they still get to keep their cover. Heal ourselves fully. I don't know why they are not taking the decoy, by the way.
Good. That should be a 95% kill. <coughs> we could flame thing. Wait, wait, wait. Well, that would fire Tomcat, the pig, and Hogbite. There are worse fates than that. It's a lot of damage, even if we did not explode the flame tank. This guy is a problem. Oh yeah, he's a big problem. Good, Quan is positioned very well here. Here's Ramos. I saw a grenade. get things uh, a bit rolling and Ramos gets one down unfortunately not the ones that are really annoying Moves to here, and this guy takes a lot of damage. So much so, matter of fact, that this is a kill. Which then, with uh, the AP, leads into a reload and our ability to directly shoot again for zero AP. Love it. Good stuff. that as well it's just heartwarming to see the absolute splatter once that guy is down moving into a flanking position trick shot into a flame tank And reload, uh, which we have no more ammunition for. What's the caliber? Anyways, almost there. Central moves up. And almost gets that guy down. Well, at least the decoy lasted until the last round. That, on the other hand, is a problem. Hogbite. Ok, 
Kills the robot. Then moves back. Lucia here. No, no, no. Lucia first. Oh, come on. Why would I loot in the middle of uh, the battle? Headshot. Done. Okay, central. Reloads. And creates a lot of hot dog. Ramos moves in. Got this guy almost down. Nice little shot. Into marking the next hot dog. Juan moves up, hit, more hits. Given the amount of enemies, we did reasonably well. But to be fair, we also kind of pulled out everything that we had, right? All right, let's try to get that last kick down. Whew. Wolf clone, everybody's still here. Cool, what did we get? Ammunition. Grenade, more ammunition, more ammunition. Brawling weapon, which I think was the weapon of the boss. Safe key. Clown pictures. I figured it might be harder than that. But before we do anything, her weapon is empty and we're looking for 38 ammunition. Which we can craft. Getting 70 for, uh, for it. Craft a couple of bolts as well. Don't need the frozen ferrets for now. I think we're okay. 
might need some more uh, might need to buy some more ammunition but let's just double check it are all of the weapons reloaded energy cells <sighs> energy cells are always a problem I think we're just buying energy cells. They are expensive, but they are so expensive to make. Anything else that... So his bolts are fine. Uh, what's the sniper ammunition? Uh, okay, that's that. Good, just double checking. Sniper checks out 60 shots, shotgun enough, 50 cal we buy, shells, uh, energy we buy. Okay, fair enough. So animal spirit would still be good, but what else do we have? When using a blunt weapon, gain 5 armor and 10% status effect resistance. Hmm. Text was blunt weapon. I like that melee attack weapon here. Bleeding strike. That, however, is also good. And more hit points are, of course, good. I think I'll just go for the bleeding strike. Extra damage again and inflicts bleeding. Ta uh, targets that have burning receive super high damage. Okay, so there is definitely a combo uh, to be had. If well, we could set people on burn, uh, burning with burning weapons, so later that might be helpful. Lucia gets her way further to 10 coordination. And I think we wanted small arms 9. Shotgun attacks, shotgun attacks, shotgun attacks. This here is not bad. Your strike meter um, improves with every successful pistol attack. And, and we could also give her the shotgun uh, talents. There is absolutely no reason why. Well, we gave her weird signs, so she sort of always had uh, mm, weird extra talents, right? But sure, why not? Let's give her opportunist. Got some sneaky stuff. Sniper rifles 9 wouldn't be bad either, but I think sneaky stuff is okay. And precision strikes now uh, have masterful precision, which is good. Good, which means I assume if we're out of combat uh, that still counts as precision strikes and if we uh, combine that with chain ambush and have a good enough sniper I 
think we might be able to snipe uh, off a couple of easier targets at the beginning. Good, got another key, four decoys, that's fantastic. Vehicle upgrade. Confetti grenade. Level 10 rocket launcher. And a helm modification. I think we're doing surprisingly well. Do we have any helmet that needs modification? Armor and crit resistance, there you go. Level 10 rocket launcher, also very, very nice. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, we found another key. I'm not sure this might be, yep, that might be it here. MP grenade, great. Uzi, not bad. nice weapon mod and a helmet mod okay cool so talking about helmet everybody got their helmet modified we need weapon modding Once we're at it, longer magazine and better. Ah, he doesn't need the crit chance. He's one of the few who does not. did have weapon modding oh it was you all right and since we were already doing explosives yeah weapon modding really wasn't top of your priority list on the other hand uh, lucia wesson could very much do weapon modding I need to reconsider if we're giving it to her so we got this guy here wait what the provost is he following us all right interesting don't remember that we had a uh, quest for him the only thing so let's tr trade in the quest and then we're going to see where this exit here, the bizarre exterior, is going to lead us. We need to heal up anyways, and 
buy some more ammunition. So it's crazy that that on this difficulty, the only things that I'm really re very regularly spending money on is crafting ammunition and gaining ammunition. So maybe I'm just using the wrong weapons. But then again, fights are not easy, so. Uh, I don't think that there is a lot of leeway. Ah, you again. What is it? Ah, pig, human faces. <laughs> this won't hurt a bit. Promise. See ya. I hear there's esteemed guests. We, still we took care, uh, care of all of the payasos in the warrens. 20% bizarre merchant discount, that's great. A great service. All our stores are open to you at a discount. And here you ask too much of me, my friends. What is a leader but a servant of the community? And I would be a bad host. I decadent oasis. Cool. We got 666, so we're at 2,500, and we got a 20% uh, bonus. And we got the provost. I don't know what the provost is. But he resides uh, Cicerus, which is interesting. Uh, for those who had Latin. So the beasties in the war and just a bunch of clowns. <coughs> I love those boots. Where'd you get that? Uh, I've been here for hours. Oh, shit. That weird Guns sanctified with blood word son. spreads that your actions saved the bazaar. Or at least certainly. All right. So, I mean, look. Rocket launchers, great. Heavy machine guns. I think the lower level guns we can easily sell. Don't see any reason for keeping them around. Keep a flamethrower and a rocket launcher. Good. Uh, what we do need is energy cells. Plenty thereof. And what I also would want is 50 cal. think that and this by the way is a very nice weapon mod for 500 uh, that is also nice weapon modding and armor modding plus one as a tool That's not bad, to be honest. For 200, you know what, we're taking it. All right, 50 cal ammo. Massive amount to board. I like that. For once, I would like to be in a position where we're not always running out of ammunition, okay? So... Fifty cal... What is the ammo that we have the least of? Seven point uh, six two ammo would be low. Yeah, we're buying some of that as well. Hello again, like strangers. I said. 
I'm certainly willing to buy a lot now. Good, fantastic. So, for once, we're not always struggling to just make ends meet. Instead, we can just run with what we have. I like that. So, you, my friend, are going to take that because uh, then your skills, at least in web promoting, are slightly better. It's not impressive, but slightly. Good, let's see. We got a, over a hundred shot for everything. Cool. Works for me. Ah, welcome to young Vincent's. Yup. Because I'm not old. Yes. Very good. So let's see what else do we need to do. So we still need to get uh, the sink in Colorado Springs that happens soon. Find the old uh, monster army bunker that is for another day. And we need to confront the smugglers. That's why we came here originally. So that's going to be the next big thing. And we'll use a nice little cliffhanger the next time we're going to find out uh, where the Warren's exit on the other side. I think for today it is time to say goodbye. It was uh, truly a pleasure to clear out the Warrens. Very interesting environment here with uh, the bazaar and so on. If you enjoyed uh, Wastelands uh, 3, uh, then leave a comment and a like down below. Put a clown nose on that like button and punch it like you've never punched it before. Thanks a lot uh, for visiting and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.